Hey YouTubers, it's Chris from Canopy Crypto. Just wanted to talk about NFTs today and the huge drop off in volume from NFT trading on OpenSea and other platforms. And what was once a huge business flipping NFTs like Bored Apes and others has really crashed this past few months. And, uh, and now NFTs are starting to be looked at as um, less uh, of a, a good investment for speculation and flipping and um, the industry is starting to look at other ideas more uh, utility uh, needed for nft uh, investments and startups so a lot of cool startups and i'll show you one um, are now using nfts for um, for their uniqueness and uh, fundraising for example versus just speculation so you can see the majority, almost three quarters of NFTs typically has been in the collectibles area. Again, just, um, you know, cartoon figures, copy, paste, 10,000 uh, GIFs or JPEGs and uh, try and sell them. Um, gaming has also been using a lot more NFTs in the last year or so in terms of um, how their game dynamics work, Decentraland and, you know, in-game assets have become a huge um, use case for NFTs. You know, metaverse um, use in, uh, you know, is also, you know, in Facebook, um, there's lots of talk of NFTs becoming more important um, in, the, in the coming months and years. Um, and of course, art is, is always going to be an element of uh, why people want to create NFTs. I wanted to touch on a new project, Maxity, that is an NGO uh, that sells NFTs. And so I want to transition from talking about the for-profit side of things and where the market is on OpenSea and flipping and bored apes and so on to companies that are doing things for social good and using NFTs to help charities, not-for-profit, non-governmental organizations raise money. Just wanted to talk about NFTs and how they are changing in the startup world. I am looking today at a company that was created called Maxity, and it is using NFTs for a different reason than most. This isn't the Bored Apes, you know, open sea, trying to flip and make money kind of play. Um, it's basically using NFTs for charity and NGOs, uh, non-government organizations. So what Maxity has done is they basically have created their own open sea um, for charities and they use um, NFTs to fundraise for each organization. And you'll see um, they have a bunch of what they call ambassadors. And these are, these are uh, basically reputable not-for-profits that they work with and they do fundraising with and so this is definitely a you know a high level um company in terms of the quality of nfts that they have and um for sale and you know you see anything from the queen to trump and um but these are i say high quality i better maybe rephrase that they, they have a, a large range of quality um yeah, like how does it work? So basically it's the same model. They issue up to 10 NFTs at a time on behalf of NGOs, uh, charities, and 80% of the proceeds, um, 80 to 90% go back to the charity. Um, you can buy from them and resell. And each time your NFT is resold, then um, a percentage, it's usually around 10% goes back to the NGO. Um, the charity and so this can become a, a revenue stream a future revenue stream for charities um, and it's actually quite a good idea in that it's not just a one-off payment um, yeah so it says when the nft is traded later a royalty up to 10 percent of the retail of the resale price is returned to the charity partner um, with 88 percent going to the seller and these guys take two percent off as a as a fee so this is could be the future of nfts um, doing good rather than evil 
uh, bored apes and such is, you know, great for millionaires getting richer, but there's also the rest of us. So just thought I'd um, show you that. Check it out. Maxity is uh, something that is doing great things and uh, they have lots of good partners and their marketplace is actually quite vast. So 